Now, oh, by the way, I should have shown you that. I, sometimes when I'm giving a demo, as I do things, things pop down my mind. I'm trying to explain to you and show you more stuff. When you, later on you're gonna open your own pouches, this is the correct way to open it. You just kind of fill it open like this. This, this part is more uh, uh, like, a, it's like a, a sticky, right? Like, um, so you peel it off, you close it and it sticks to it. It's really hard to open from this side, so don't attend this, okay? It's, uh, these are designed to open from the other end. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna start te uh, testing you. What is the name of this? Metal rod or arm. It's okay both ways, okay? What is this? Ring. Ring. Regardless. And this one? Pipe block. Pipe block. Okay, very good. Just the same names. Now, these are the red ones, okay, in extras we had to tie, in, uh, in dental radiology we had to tie for mainly uh, Tenex uh, or T. We have PA x rays. Carry epicores, and we have bywings. These two, blue and the yellow, posterior and anterior, are for PAs. A PA will show the entire tooth, including the including the apices and surrounding areas. Okay, this one is for bywings. The bywings, uh, the image will show the crowns of the teeth only. Okay, and for bywings, uh, we take two. Molar, a molar shot and a premolar shot. Uh, um, generally speaking, bywings are mainly to diagnose cavities between the teeth, especially for children. Okay, depending upon what doctor is looking for, we we'll get a bywing. Full mouths, you wanna take PAs and bywings because you have to be trained on both. Okay, now this is how it's set up. Okay, now I wanna remind you this. Remember how the Bible block is set up, it's kind of going out or back. It depends how you want to look at it. I see some students, even like months after they touch this, doing this. When you mount it this way, sometimes the patient's bite doesn't match right, or the, uh, the dexter, excuse me, and it moves. So this is not, I would not advise you to mount it this way. You get a better bite when you turn it out like that okay now you're probably wondering how is the film mounted okay let me show you something right here you have the little uh, slots here that where the film will fit if you're trying to slide it in like that it's gonna be very very hard so what we recommend is to make the film curve the film a little bit like this okay without bending it if you bend the film, it's gonna uh, create a crease. It's gonna ruin the quality of the x-ray. Okay, so don't bend it. Just curve it slightly like that. Slide it through. And when it's right in the center, release. And then just kind of fix the film. Make it as straight as you can. Okay? Now the film has to be <clears throat> as centered as you can. Okay? See what I mean? In other words, not like that. Okay, or the other side, like that. You're gonna miss what you're actually taking. So always send it as much as you can. Then of course the ring is placed like that. And again, the film is right in, in the center of the ring. Okay, questions so far?